Hey, my name's Kristen Carlisle McKenzie and I oversee the property management department here at Biggin and Scott in Richmond. Today I welcome David from Esteem Plumbing um, and Esteem Group and David's here to answer a few simple questions in relation to carbon monoxide. Um, you know, we all we all have heard about carbon monoxide. We know, you know, that it, you know it can be quite scary. But there are some of us out there, or some people out there, that have no idea. Yep. First of all, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank for you me. for coming in. Um, can you tell our clients what is carbon monoxide and why is it so bad? Yeah, it certainly can. So carbon monoxide is a colourless and odourless gas. Um, as I just said, you won't be able to smell it or, or notice it. It's treated, it's actually called the silent killer, so it, uh, it is fairly you know, fairly involved. You need yep. to make sure you do maintain your appliances and uh, make sure that um, everything's safe for the homeowner or tenant. And if, so you, you're not going to see it, you're not going to, you're not going to yep. smell it, it's just going to be there. Correct. So if you're not testing your appliances regularly, yep. um, it could be there without you even knowing it. And there are, there are, there are stories I've heard on the news of people, you know, even young children that have been, you know, um, Yep. You know, they've they've been in a room that's been closed. I don't know what the situation. You know, yeah. is it normally a closed room? That's yeah. Well, look, it generally is. It's generally when it's a, a closed environment. Um, obviously, the more air and uh, space around you, the the less chance. But at the yeah. end of the day, um, if carbon monoxide isn't getting out of the unit the way it should, so ducted heater for argument's sake, if it's not venting externally or through a flue out to atmosphere, um, it can come inside the home, and this is where it becomes uh, becomes dangerous. And this is Huge why you've got to test them. So if your unit's outside, mm -hmm. it's not it's not it's not going to be much of a problem because it's going to dilute into the air. Is that right? If, uh, it, if it's functioning properly, it is to dilute into the air. But if it's yeah. not functioning properly, that's when you'll get carbon monoxide, even from an external unit, will definitely still come through ductwork into the home itself. Oh, right. So um, that's where that's a, a good question because a lot of people say, "Oh, it's outside, so it's not going to bother me." Yeah. But not true. It's uh, the flue's outside, so if it's functioning properly, the gas will uh, will will just go to atmosphere externally. Yeah. But if it isn't um, working the way it should you do run the risk of uh, the carbon monoxide coming back inside the home. Okay. Um, and, you know, if you've got kids asleep and the door's shut, yeah, you know, they're screaming all night, so they shut the door. And, yeah, you know, as they, we they, do. Yeah, exactly. That's when it can become an issue. So okay. it is very important to get things tested and looked after. Yeah, and we think we, we all think we know. I mean, you've just reminded me, I've been living in my property for over three years mm -hmm. and I've not had my... I've had nothing tested. Yep. I must get you over to do that, 100%. guys. Um, but you just, I mean, if everything's working okay and, mm. you know, there's nothing's broken down, you just think, well, I'm not going to spend the money. But yeah. who's to say that, you know, I don't have a leak of carbon monoxide in my house? And, uh, exactly you know. right. I mean, um, Energy Safe Victoria recommend that uh, gas appliances are serviced and tested every two years. Um, and they do a great job each year of advertising on the, on the radio, on news, yeah. on TV and whatnot to make a friendly reminder. But um, just one of those things, if you've got... No gas heating more so than anything else um, that you just got to make sure you do get it get tested it and after. And guys, we as property investors, as property owners, we we want to. You're, you're one of our clients. You're mm -hmm. you're an investor. You're yep. you're a landlord. Um, we we obviously want to. The the point of owning a property is to make money on it. Mm -hmm. So we want to spend as little as possible on it. But if you don't maintain your property. Um, you know, the worst can happen. A, a tenant can die. You know, your property can burn down. Your property can flood if you're not maintaining it yep. on a regular basis. So, if nothing else, use this as a reminder to get these things checked. Get Understand. your gutters checked. Get your carbon monoxide tested. Make sure your smoke detectors work. Um, all of this risk management stuff is yep. is what I'm trying to get across in in these videos. We've we've spoken about landlords insurance. That's risk management. Carbon monoxide. Um, there's there's just so many things that as a landlord you should should be doing, um, and we're just obviously wanting to make everyone aware of that. Definitely. Um, so with the steam plumbing, what Biggin and Scott are going to be doing is letting all of our clients know that over the next couple of months um, they are, they are offering a, a service to check mm -hmm. gas appliances. Um, how often do we do that? Every two years. So yeah, as I yep. say, Energy Safe Victoria recommended every two years. Yep. Um, if we took a, again, I'll talk about a ducted heater for example, uh, the way we'd go about testing a ducted heater would be we'd run it for 20 minutes, um, we'd set up our carbon monoxide, digital carbon monoxide uh, meter yep. um, in the room, not too far from one of the ducts, and uh, that would give us a reading. It'd either be a zero reading, which means it's passed, and if the heater has passed the test, then fantastic, we'll go and complete just a general service yep. to make sure everything's running the way it should. If the heater is to fail and we get a reading of carbon monoxide, um, we then shut the unit down and right. go back to work. They're on the spot. Yeah, they're on the spot. It's, yeah. uh, it, is a, I'd say it is a serious issue, so we 
we don't yeah you don't leave it open for uh, any any problems in the future That's it, yeah. we shut it down call the client and say yeah this is what we need to do going forward to uh to rectify yeah. it or, or get it sorted out and it, and it is all gas appliances obviously heaters are probably mm. the main the yep. main thing and that's part of the reason why we're doing this now <laughs> mm. if we did this in uh, May or June and yep. we were shutting down any, you know possibly shutting down any heaters mm. that's going to cause a lot of problems yep. so we have kind of done this strategically yep. um, but obviously at any time at any time it can be done and should be done definitely um, but biannually this this is a service that will be provided by yep. esteem exactly um, anything else I needed to cover was is there anything else that you wanted to um, to get across? I think we've no. Look, I, I it's think pretty um, basic. yeah, it is pretty basic. Uh, just if um, if people are getting any symptoms from from carbon monoxide, the ones I'll be looking out for is dizzy, dizziness, nausea, a yeah. few headaches, things like that. So yeah. if any owners, tenants are getting those feelings after you know, sitting down on the TV with a heater going all night, mm. um, it's probably not a bad thing to uh, wake up the next day and uh, well, hopefully wake up the next yeah. day. And, uh, and, and don't call. ignore them. If, yeah, if, exactly if people right. are complaining of this sort of thing, don't do not ignore yeah. it as a, as a risk management yep. point of view and as a, an, a as an agency to our clients' point of view. Do not ignore yeah. any signs small, of small uh, small of cost like for that. a bit of peace of mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we will be in touch, David from Esteem. If you've got particular questions, anything you need to know, David's details will be on the screen. Yep. Uh, more than happy to help you guys or your property manager, or you can contact myself. I'm happy to help as well. Um, David, thank you so much for thank coming in much. and taking your time and. Uh, uh, happy investing, guys.